Okay, the question is, what happens to babies and unborn children? Do they automatically get to go to heaven? Uh, a lot of people will tell you yes, that they do. I would disagree. Um, what these people are referring to when they say that yes, babies automatically get to go to heaven is the Age of Accountability Doctrine, which teaches the idea that um, you have to be a certain age, like 8, 9, 10, whatever, and then that's when you can fully grasp the idea of the death, death, burial, resurrection of Jesus, you know, that's when you can be held responsible. And anybody below that age, they can't be held responsible, therefore, you know, they automatically go to heaven. I disagree with that. Because, I mean, you look at Romans 5, 12 to 21, it teaches the idea of federal headship, which is where Adam sinned, therefore, the entire human race fell into sin. We are not just sinners by choice, we are sinners by nature. And penalty for sin is death. And when you say something like, you know, babies don't deserve to go to hell, or anyone for that matter, the thing is, we don't even deserve life in the first place. Life is a gift. But on top of that, you need to remember that we are not saved by faith. We are saved by grace through faith. Where faith is not applicable, it's all on God. I mean, you look at, you, if, you, if you stick true to this age of accountability doctrine, it teaches, you know, you have to be a certain age, and that's when you're held responsible. But what happens to people that, you know, they're in a vegetative state? People, you know, autistic people, what happens to them? They're above the age, yet according to this doctrine, they deserve to go to hell because they can't grasp, you know, the idea of Jesus, or possibly not even say his name. That's why I don't like that doctrine. The thing is, we are saved by grace. God chooses us, we do not choose him. God seeks us. We do not seek Him. Um, best thing I can tell you to do, read your Bible. Grow in your relationship with God. Um, I can't just give you a yes or no answer as to what happens with babies or, you know, people in vegetative states or whatever it is. I can tell you, grow in your relationship with God. We talk to Him through prayer. He talks to us through His Word. You grow in your relationship with Him. You get to understand Him better and you will you probably won't be as worried as you might be when you're first originally thinking this question as you know you know you know whoever do they automatically go to hell if you get to understand god you get to understand love his mercy his grace once you start to grasp that stuff i think you will be much more uh calm and collective about it and not as worried. Once you learn to trust God, then you know, you, you're not going to need to worry about it. So I can't tell you what happens to you know, babies or whoever, and it's, it's just not black and white. But once you understand God's character, I think that'll definitely help you out.